Now to the other developing story as we're on the air tonight. The news coming in and the disappearance of Gabby Petito, the coroner now out with their finding. The autopsy confirming the body found in Wyoming is the 22-year-old who went missing. In Florida tonight, police have now resumed the search for her missing boyfriend while 500 miles away. Authorities are studying this image. Captured on a wildlife trail camera, the sheriff not ruling out that it could be Brian Laundry, the person of interest. ABC's Trevor Alt in Florida. Tonight, the FBI confirming a body found in Wyoming's Grand Tetons is Gabby Petito. The cause of death still pending final autopsy results, but the coroner finding this is a homicide. A cross of riverbed stones now marking the site where Gabby was found. Today in Florida, investigators pouring over alligator and snake infested marshland, renewing the manhunt for Gabby's boyfriend, Brian Laundrie. Drones flying overhead as ATVs and canine units weave through that 25,000 acre nature reserve where Laundrie's family told officials he may be. Terrain's very difficult, essentially 75% of it's underwater. And 500 miles away, an Okaloosa County trail camera capturing this image Monday. The sheriff not ruling out it could be Brian Laundrie, but so far they've searched the area and found nothing. I love the van. Laundrie and Petito had been on a cross-country road trip. Brian returning home to Florida without her, but never reporting her missing. Now authorities facing growing scrutiny over how the sole person of interest in Gabby's disappearance was able to vanish himself. From the beginning, this has been a tragedy of errors. You didn't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to search through the swamp. Where were the cops? They should have surveilled it. It's not against the law. While investigators raided the Laundry family home Monday, police have stressed Brian is a person of interest, but not a suspect, because until now, there was no crime. And the lawyer for the Laundry family advised them not to talk to authorities. And also under fire, the officers in Utah who responded to a fight between the couple during their road trip last month. The police report says Gabby tried to slap Brian. He pushed her away, then she scratched him in the face, the officers separating them. As well as you were attempting to accomplish by slapping. I was trying to get him to stop telling him to But the witness who called 911 said Brian was the aggressor. We drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. Who was slapping her? Yes. And Trevor Alt back with us live from Florida tonight. Trevor, last night here, the attorney for Brian Laundrie's family said that the family uh, was going to speak today, but that didn't happen. No, it didn't, David. Late last night, that attorney scrapped those plans after he says he spoke with the FBI. He did just release a brief statement saying, may Gabby rest in peace. We've also heard from the attorney representing the Petito family. He says they will have a statement when Gabby is home. David, Trevor Alt with late developments tonight. Trevor, thank you. And Gabby Petito's disappearance is now drawing renewed attention to another disappearance, a young geologist a missing in Arizona. Daniel Robinson went missing in the desert outside Buckeye, Arizona in late June. His family claiming authorities haven't done enough to find him. Police say a landowner found Robinson's significantly damaged Jeep on July 19th, about four miles from the job site where he was last seen. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.